hope you're all doing well welcome back to my channel in the spirit of being consistent I'm back again with another video so today's video is not going to be engineering based or educational based it's going to be lifestyle related because I love this type of videos when I get on YouTube these are the videos I'm always searching for because I love to find different perspectives on a singular issue so I feel like you can never get too many perspectives on different lifestyle issues or just self wellness issues and I also want this channel to be a mix of lifestyle videos and educational videos just so it's a good balance and it has something for everyone so in today's video I'll be talking about things I wish I could tell my teenage self I've seen different people do these videos and it always gets to me every time because I'm just like I can I can truly relate there's so many things I would love to tell my teenage self and it's a bit too late but I wish I could do some of the things that I wanted to do or I wish I wasn't holding myself back as much as I was when I was a teenager so for you teenagers out there I hope you guys actually take in these videos and try and um, live freely and live actively as much as you can while you're a teenager but then again no regrets we live and we learn but a girl can only wish so these are the things I wish I could tell my teenage self so the first thing I would tell my teenage self is to stop being shy. I feel like being shy is okay, but it becomes a problem when it's crippling you and it's holding you back from actually doing things that can help you out and help you progress in life. So I was a friendly girl, very jovial, very happy, but I was also very shy. And I don't know why I became shy all of a sudden, because I don't think I was that shy in elementary school, but in high school, I was really, really shy. Um, I would tell myself, not to be too shy because shyness really doesn't do much for you shyness cannot actually get you far it's okay if you're shy and you're still proactive or you're shy and still forward but then it becomes a problem when you let your shyness hold you back in a lot of ways like I would go to social events and not talk to people just sit on my own not mingle with people and basically just coming off like I'm not friendly when I'm actually just really shy but then that's the vibe you give off when you're shy because people think you don't want to talk to them and you're just being you know snobby even being so shy that you can't even ask questions in class that's when you know it's a problem because you, <laughs> you can't even ask questions to learn and to progress yourself being very social was kind of hard for me as a teenager so I would tell my teenage self get a grip stop being so shy it's not that hard for you to talk to people people would not think you're crazy if you come and say hi to them people would think you're crazy if you sit down in a corner and you don't say anything because they think you're snobby another thing I would tell my teenage self is to stop being so darn defensive I feel like I was a very defensive teenager because I felt everyone was coming at me and attacking me even if people came at me with the slightest correction I got so defensive I was like why would you say that why would you tell me this why would you tell me that most of the time they were coming from a good place most of the time they were trying to let me know this thing so I could improve on it or get better at this but I got so defensive and I was like mm -mm, don't come with me with that I was always unready to give a response like oh no 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 I didn't do this oh no or oh, this or oh, that so you're not listening and when you stop listening you're not learning so I would tell myself to stop being so defensive and actually listen and taking what people had to say so you can get the feedback and also see how you can make improvements here and there if need be and then even the ones who are not coming from a good place it's not necessarily the best reaction for you to be so defensive because you you have to hear people out and actually hear what they're trying to tell you just so you can kind of get different perspectives on how you're behaving another thing I would tell my teenage self is to understand your worth I feel like being a teenager is already the hardest time for anyone I don't know why it's so difficult but I swear to you it's, the, it's one of the hardest periods that anyone can go through so I understand the whole crisis of not really understanding yourself not really getting the world not really getting life but I would tell myself to make sure that I understand my worth understand that I am beautiful regardless of what anyone else said understand that I am beautiful inside and out and I have a lot going on here that anyone who has rubbish to say and doesn't want to take the time to get to know me for the inside is irrelevant I would tell myself to understand my worth whether it be physical whether it be social whether it be academic I feel like if I really understood my worth and I knew that I deserved the ultimate best life would have been smooth sailing and it's really hard telling myself now that I would say that to myself then because I feel like 
most teenagers or almost all teenagers don't really understand their worth at that point because we're all in that stage of trying to figure things out so we can't really see clearly but I would tell myself to understand my worth and understand my value when it comes to anything another thing I'll tell my teenage self is to hold on to good friends I feel like my personality and the way I am as a person I'm a lone ranger so most of the time I know I can I'm a genuine person enough to make good strong connections with people and make wonderful friendships but then for me in most cases it's out of sight out of mind so if we're not in the same place anymore the friendship kind of dwindles away which is very sad because I've had so many wonderful friendships in my life and a lot of them I haven't been able to keep till now because either I moved away to here or they moved away to here and we weren't seeing each other as much as we normally would so it was out of sight out of mind and those are friendships that are irreplaceable because those people were wonderful people people that I would love to have you know kept on growing with but then I let them go so if I was to tell my teenage self something about making friends is to not let the good ones go because they're hard to find and I would also like to tell my teenage self that interdependence is key I was of the mindset that I had to do everything on my own it was me 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 I could do everything on my own I don't need anyone else I am so dependent on myself I am independent and I don't need anyone and that mentality cannot really take you far because we live in a codependent world and then when you get to your mid-twenties you realize that we're living in a world where you have to learn how to be interdependent so your so-called independence can't take you far because you need to learn how to cohabitate with people and build with people and network with people and really just have that human to human interaction a genuine human to human interaction and just go through life enjoying your surroundings so a lot of times my teenage self would decide not to ask for help even when I needed help for something because I felt like I could do it on my own most of the time you can't do it on your own and most of the time you need help or you need a different perspective or someone who has actually done it before that can help you and if you ask they'll be willing to help so yeah I would tell my teenage self calm down Sometimes you need help and interdependence is a wonderful thing. And the last thing I would tell my teenage self is that you should start learning about finances early because that would be a big part of the rest of your life. Literally the rest of your life. I feel like I lived in an environment where they didn't really highlight the importance of money and finances and actually learning about these things early because after a certain point, literally after university, you're going to be thrown into a space where you are going to be solely accountable for yourself and your finances. And how do you start to learn all these things immediately when you're already starting to be accountable for yourself? So you have to have that prior knowledge or they have to put it in... I saw somewhere that they're going to start putting it in the curriculum. Having, um, having high school students actually learn about maintaining their finances or keeping up finances or just learning more about finances in general because it's important and most people come out of university or high school and they get that shock of like oh my god now I don't know what to do I don't know how to handle my money yeah it's a real thing so I would like to tell my teenage self ask questions about money ask questions about finances even though you didn't have the knack for it because I chose things related to science and I felt like I had no business learning about things related to money I feel like it would have been useful for me to have actually like taken the time out to actually learn about this thing called money because we're gonna be making it for the rest of our lives money how to save how to how to be proactive with it how to multiply it how to just basically what to do with it and how to get ahead being your own person and being accountable for yourself so those are the things I wish I could tell my teenage self. I would literally time travel and go back and whisper to my teenage self and tell me all these things just so I could get a head start in some of the things that I'm actually looking into now. Hopefully any one of these tips could help you guys out and give you guys a head start.
I hope you guys enjoy videos like this because I really enjoyed making this video and I enjoy watching videos like this so there's gonna be more of this type of videos to come let me know what videos you would like me to do in the comment section below and also you can check out my previous video on different things related to education and let me know what else you would like to see so stay happy stay learning and stay beautiful people bye see you guys next time